Hello everybody, today I have the pleasure to propose to you this key 65 entitled The Dark Night of the Soul. Okay, so like usually, let's say like in the past, we're gonna proceed in four steps. The first one, we're gonna try to define the concepts of, uh, of this. The second one, we're gonna see the reason for being to, 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 to go through it. And three and four, we see some advice and also some techniques to solve this passage. Okay, so before starting, I uh, just wanted to, as an introduction, to tell you two things, which is, which are um, two metaphors and also um, a subtle invitation to perceive the dark night of the soul through this image. The first one is, as you can see here, we are 20, um, 20, uh, 20th of March, okay, so it's the equinox. I'm in the north of France in my secret garden, in a certain extent, from my childhood. And um, you can see it's north of France, usually it's not very beautiful weather. And I'm in t-shirt, it means that uh, it is good weather. What I mean thereby, first is equinox, it means that this is the spring, okay, this is the rebirth of nature, that's why normally uh, the tradition, this is the beginning of the year. Um, and also, um, beyond of that, it's very sunny, you can see, you can see the, the beautiful tree and so on with flowers. And also, this is also the notion in the north, is a little bit like uh, north of France, is a little bit like in Britain, and I lived there uh, one year, and I can tell you that it's very gloomy and it's very rainy all the time, the grey sky and so on. So this is a metaphor for also this notion of uh, um, the dark night of the soul, in the sense that beyond beyond the grey sky, there is always the blue sky. This is important. It means that this is, you see a butterfly, two, three butterfly. Um, this is a kind of concept which is punctual. This is important to keep in mind that, to have this, um, this these passions, okay, to uh, continue to believe in this possible um, solution. Because once again, it's just, um, it's punctual. Secondly, today I'm finishing a, a, a fasting. Uh, I, I did a fasting for three days, 72 hours. And um, yesterday it was very difficult. Tonight I'm gonna hit. Okay, yesterday I was really weak and so on. And I, I had projection saying, thinking about the fact tomorrow will be amazing and so on. And I wake up d today and I feel with a lot of energy, despite the fact I'm supposed to be weaker. You see the difference. So this is once again the notion of projection and also the fact it is punctual. Well, let's try to see what is it concretely, the dark night of the sun. Okay, so first of all, I would like to insist on the fact we can see many, many different explanations on internet. Why? Because it's a little bit like uh, spirituality and in general the subjectivity of life. Everybody is unique and thereby everybody has his own interpretation and experience of it. Okay, the different testimony doesn't mean that those, certain of them, they are wrong, certain of other ones are true and so on. It's just a question of perception. It's not compulsory. It means that you can have it or not during your entire life. It can be before awakening process, process, and because it's not a, a diploma, it's a many times a middle and so on. It can be before, and or after, it can be once in your life, it can be never, it can be several times, it can be, um, let's say, a few days, few weeks, few months, and even few years. Okay, so there is no standard, uh, let's say, process, huh? it's unique. That's very important to precise this. It's a kind of reset, a re cleansing, a reset, okay, of the virus, okay, like a uh, software cleaning your computer and what you have inside okay uh, the destruction of your ego okay of your personality and um, your personality your ego and also the, the 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 macrocosm what what is it is your environment and also the uh, entire entire world actually this is uh, small scale and larger scale Okay, that's the point. And then um, it's a kind of spiritual burnout. 
okay um, usually it's it arrived after a certain accumulation of a knowledge but which which is um, which are purely theory theories okay so uh, it's kind of overwork and yeah uh, overwhelmed with a lot of information and so on and you can't anymore okay you're tired about spirituality in general all right then it's a kind you know it's like um, um, a blacksmith okay uh, the forge okay it's like um, it's it's just acting just to realign okay so that's why it's kind of painful most of the time but the consequences of this is the fact it's a purification it's you purify is a detox as I did for fasting is difficult three days it's 72 hours is quite challenging even if uh, um, let's say I, um, I get I, mean, I used to because I do minimum month a month but let's say um, I'm motivated also every time and I every time I think about stopping uh, of course but I never do because I know the results will be amazing okay so it will allow me to to reach certain uh, state of consciousness and it clean up uh, so my my body and so on so it's concretely is a loss of um, let's say uh, landmarks okay um, of the ego okay so it's destabilize because he, it's a kind of disidentification uh, first and then a, a collapse literally of the ego of the world of the perception and so on third uh, step is a cleansing i mean if you you do it of course and third fourth it's a transmutation a transcendence and you go through it and you are when you're out of this period of darkness you are definitely more shining more uh, vibrating and so on much more as before and even if you thought and you consider that you were kotamari awakened um, this is important to integrate the fact that the ego is just a vehicle okay uh, vehicle means it's uh, allowing you to uh, let's say to um to go from one point A to one point B right? is not a finality. Okay, your ego you, is not is as I say always. And you can see the key nine is a good servant but a bad master. Okay, as long as you are putting, it, I mean, is at his own place and is not uh, mastering um, you and so on. Is not is um, not a small dictator. It's a good tool as well. Okay, but a good balance. I'm gonna give you some um, analogies for you to understand properly what is the dark night, uh, the dark night of the sub. The first one is like a subway. Okay, a subway. Okay, you are in a city, for instance, and you you go through. Okay, so it's a subway is a, is a, is dark most of the time. It's not very clean and so on. Sometimes it's dangerous. Uh, some people are afraid about the darkness, about a technical problem if they have. Um, let's say some phobia and so on but at the end you go through it and you arrive further okay and the sky is coming back the light is coming back okay so it's just a passage okay this is important to keep in mind okay it's um, you know it's like um, diving in diving if you know is a notion of pressure you have some threshold okay so it means that there is steps and you need to wait for each steps otherwise you can uh, it can be dangerous and you can even die because of that so we can consider the dark night of the soul is a part of your um, uh, infinite inner journey for which you have some steps and is one of them okay and you can have several ones as well i said before okay so but is a notion of to taking time to for depressurization um, to avoid the, 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 the bad impact of the pressure and um, and at the end to go through it this is also another um, metaphor and analogy the third one is the washing machine you know the this is a kind of <laughs> is destabilizing you 
and in parallel of that is um, it, it clean up as well okay so it's important to keep this in mind um, is also the allegory of the cave uh, for from plateau okay for so make it sure uh, people are in the, in a cave in the darkness and they are um, attached okay to um, to a wall and um, like prisoners and they just see from the reality since they both uh, some uh, some some uh, some uh, shadows, and this is like uh, you know puppets, okay. And the thing they consider is reality. So one day one guy uh, free up, and just goes outside, and then he see the line, the reality, and so on. He see people, and so on. He understand that uh, it was an illusion downstairs. So he comes back, and he try to explain to people, and people don't want to to believe, and they, some of them they want to kill him, and so on. So it's really close to that. We will see later on in the tradition there is almost everywhere in the world this notion of the dark night of the sun. Just for you to know, um, the initial the, this is a translation from French, but uh, it's from De La Croix, okay. Uh, 16th century so it means that uh, it's not so recent it's not linked to new age we'll see that is almost among um, i mean belonging to all uh, culture traditions and also spirituality religion but let's say that um, it's uh, this uh, this um, this uh, name uh, has uh, uh, five centuries okay so then this is also the notion of vitriol, you know, vitriol, the fact to dig down and to um, to clean up what you have inside and so on and so far. Then this is a parallel also with the movie Matrix, you know, with the, the pill, huh, to be aware, let's say. But we can say also by extension, more tradition and so on, cultural reference is like in the Genesis, okay? In the Genesis, you know that um, uh, Adam and Eve, we think it's reality or some people a myth but it can be a metaphor as well it's um, the fact to, uh, to 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 switch okay from your uh, the unity okay your um, garment of light to garment of skin okay uh, for going to um, let's say uh, going to the the, 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 the the low vibration in density okay in the materiality and then the objective the ultimate objective would be um, to find back this garment of light garment of light is not a metaphor like you have phosphorescent not at all of course is a notion of uh, let's say uh, is more uh, let's say <laughs> rising your vib vibration and so on huh? is a question of frequencies okay but you don't disappear necessarily uh, <laughs> immediately of course um, then three important remarks um, the first one is question of semantic okay when we say the dark night of the soul personally I would prefer to say um, the fog of the mind. Why? Because actually, the 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 the, 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 the soul is not in the darkness. It's always in the brightness. It's always in the light. It's just the disconnection between your mind, your uh, um, your ego, your personality, which is disconnected, and thereby in the fog, okay, in the darkness, to reach back, to reconnect to the higher self and your true self, your true I am, the soul in general. Okay, so just for me to, it's kind of, I could say also differently regarding soul, it's a passage towards the luminous awakening of the soul. Okay, but for you to be aware about that, to reconnect with that, because probably your soul is already aware is already awakened okay no need okay it is in the in the in the light but anyway just to, to be picky a little bit but also to bring a precision secondly is um, there is a difference between the pressure depression and um, and uh, just the the dark night of the the soul which is most of the time the depression is something outside okay it's through um, outside events um, outward so it means uh, uh, a grief um, a trauma something coming back for example which has not been solved and so on and let's say that um, 
we can consider the the dark night of uh, of the soul is more something uh, inward inside okay it's um it's a kind of chaos okay and usually linked to uh, existential crisis so most of the time is spiritual okay not only but it's often the case and um it is something that everything is uh, changing and let's say uh, collapsing within you okay you as your ego your perception um, the trust that you have with people and so on the world trust you have with life with uh, uh, humanity and so on and so forth the third thing i wanted also to precise be careful about listening too much uh, the little voice the little voice can be two things either is your soul okay intuition and so on your guide and so on uh, guidance or is the little voice of your ego saying she's bad is like this that uh, judging always because the reason for being i say many times of the ego is to separate okay to exist means separate so the reason for being of the existence of the ego is to separate from the mass from the environment for other people from the reconnection with uh, the B, the Great Wall, not the Great Wall from Chinese, huh? the Great Wall, W H O L E. Okay, great, the big everything, <laughs> big all. Okay, so there's a very important point. Okay, so ego could be compared to uh, to fear, and uh, soul could be the voice of uh, love. Okay, this is really important to precise because it's a springboard um to bring you okay through unity because this is the ultimate objective okay how does it work concretely there is many things but the most significant aspect is you have a feeling of nothingness of nihilism what does it mean it means that you have a lack of center of interest you don't care about anything even your patience and so on what's animate you usually and so on you you don't have any um let's say like um appetite you know you 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 are not you're you're not anymore everything is boring everything is vain is meaningless useless and so on so this is an existential crisis literally then it's very important to consider i say many times already but i will repeat also it's punctual state not to identify yourself to this state of mind of soul okay once again it's not always sunny it's not always blue sky but it's not only uh, also rainy okay after the rain comes beautiful weather okay this is important to take into account then this is a kind of mold okay like you know the the caterpillar huh? uh, bringing to the to the to the butterfly it's an evolution to bring you something better okay so once you know that one of the most important thing is to to accept huh? to go deep inside to 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 dive into your darkness is a kind of introspection okay to to see your dark sides okay we all have a, it's introspection okay and to dig deeper okay um very important is not to control your own emotions you want to cry cry okay it's try to welcome welcome literally you welcome the emotions emotions okay so it's um because if you struggle it will come back again and again and again the goal is just to accept them and thereby you by doing that you neutralize them you take it out okay the the, the negative energy and you have peace i mean yeah peaceful towards this even this moment these people and so on so this is one of the suggestions it's a kind of um, reprogrammation okay it's a reprogrammation this is the key certify we saw together it's the same principle okay then um, it's important to understand that is the evolution is always by stage but sometimes is very quick stage you know um, this is a metaphor I, I'm not mixing uh, <laughs> but in quantum physics usually so it's the, 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 the micro vision no, the very small scale um, concretely is once an uh, electron has a certain energy and the accumulation of energy 
you shift towards um, a higher dimension. Okay, so this is what we call a uh, quantum leap. Okay, and this is the same phenomenon. It is like you accumulate, you accumulate this difficulty, difficult, and then <laughs> suddenly one day, okay, it's not uh, like this, but one day <laughs> you evolve, and then you evolve, and then and then. Okay, so it's important to keep in mind that this is um, a notion of vibration and energy of uh, and energy is 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 also affective, eh? it's eff effective, emotional, and so on and so forth. So then. Um, this is, you know, like emptying, you know, this is kind of uh, vitriol, the holy grail, and this is like empty you, you, you cup, okay? So you need to take it out everything to recon rebuild yourself. Um, then it's a kind of return back to, uh, to the zero point or singularity point and so on, okay? Actually, this is, um, you know, to align yourself as one, okay? What does it mean? Your body, your mind, and your soul, okay? And most of the time, we're like this. We are not balanced, okay? So that's the point. This is, I mean, the issue, I mean, the objective of this adventure, this hardship, this challenge. Um, most of the time, we feel really, really, really lonely, okay? Why? Because people, let's say, annoyed us or we feel so different, or we are in a bad mood, so we are very negative, so we don't want to see people, we just want to uh, rescue or to, to flee people, to run away, to, to escape people. Though um, this is important also to accept this moment, to respect that, that your environment respect that, but al always keep in mind, and we will see this is part of the example, the, the advice, it's important to be helped sometimes by specialists, by friends, by uh, partners, and so on and so far. If they have the, let's say, the maturity and or the openness and or the, they are passionate for that. If they love you, you have just, they have to understand that it is punctual and is not because of them and so on. Okay, it's nothing personal. It is just something that um, is a part of the of the game. So, but you know, it's um, it's um, you know, um, I do this. Uh, I'm always using this metaphor of the notion of um, 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 sorry, <laughs> um, you know the the sound the ah I'm missing the word sorry. Um, The world sound, or something like this. Well, anyway, I will talk about this uh, later. But uh, you know, this um, the, 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 the sound. Um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I don't have the word. I'm sorry. It will come back probably. Uh, well, anyway, let, let's come back. Let's come back uh, later. So it's a kind of inner battle, inner battle, but without any violence. Okay, this is a profound. Um, meaning of jihad in English, it means struggle. It is only w in word, inside, it's never outside. It would be a blasphemy to judge someone in Islam, just uh, a word to, to a wide, uh, to a wise. Um, this is a kind of invisible wall for which um, the, 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 the different walls is a prison, okay, for which the walls exist because you give some, I mean, um, some affects, okay, some emotions, and so on, negative, positive, and so on. Um, so, um, it can be as due to a stagnation, I mean, it can be a stagnation because of, uh, despite accumulation of knowledge, okay, it's possible, because when once is too theoretical um, and not practical enough, okay, as we say often, uh, practice makes perfect, it can be um, one of the um, one of the, uh, the, the the results. Um, it's often um, kind of reminiscence, okay, a comeback of your um, buried, you know, buried um, fears or trauma, which has not been solved, and uh, concretely they will come back unless you solve them, you embrace them, you. Uh, you accepted them and you neutralized them. That's really important. Okay. So uh, most of the time, also, it's um, we don't have any more any positive outcome. 
we don't have any more uh, any vision horizon and so on all this kind of thing disappear it's darkness and we don't see beyond okay so keep in mind when it's the gray sky there is always somewhere you take the plane and you will have the blue sky um, everything let's say seems to be false and wrong and uh, it doesn't vibrate anymore with you um, you and in parallel of that the paradox a lot of people is not always on but a lot of people always you know repeat repeat all ceaselessly you know the same thing like uh, um, everything is perfect or uh, yeah all this thing everything is at the right time at the right place yeah it's, it's true but for having this in application to implement this it's experience okay so if you repeat it just uh, as a poem but you don't believe it it's vain it's useless okay so but this is important this it's most of the time it's um it's um you can have the, 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 um, some uh, kind of lack of motivation and thereby also lack of efficiency for a few months or a few weeks and so on and doesn't evolve any project and so on and you have no interest so um, you don't want to wake up the morning and so on you, you don't want to see people you everything is useless you doubt in everything you you flee most of the time because you want to be alone but uh, you you flee yourself you run away from from facing the difficulties most of the time so once again um, you need other people so why was the reason why what's the reason for being of this state and this passage uh, um, of the dark um, dark night of the soul simple first one is kind of update okay an update is to reprogram in a certain extent to reset uh, reset the ego okay in the relation to your true essence okay the true i am okay your higher self your soul whatever you call it secondly is a kind of initiatory um passage okay which is necessary to go beyond okay springboard i could say to reach a higher level in terms of energy uh, and, and and also a state of consciousness third is a kind of crash test okay what is it crash test it's just trying to 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 we use it for automotive most of the time when you this is just to see the car crashing in a wall to see how um what are the resilience what are the corrective actions and so on so is a crash test uh, to value for you to value is a kind of assessment to value if the theory you know the knowledge and so on is implemented for where or not okay because if you are in an illusion and fake life and so on it's just an illusion of awakening and so on of happiness and so on so this is really to to to, to like checking you to say okay guy are you sure you are implementing right now your philosophy of happiness of uh, high uh, vibration and so on that's the point okay essentially uh, fourth um it's from is go from the appearance exclusively materiality and so on to the true essence the real i am as a several time the goal is to be let's say uh, at peace individually to be peaceful individually and collectively okay peace salvation harmony completeness um, completeness or unity i am reconnection to the higher self this is same okay same essence okay then some some techniques and advice even if of course is not uh, um, is not exhaustive uh, is not uh, there is no pretension with it but the most important thing is to let it go to surrender basically okay if you struggle too much um most of the time it goes on the other side okay yeah this is what i wanted to say before so it was quick sand quick sand i wanted to you know what is it it is you know some sand and you literally are absorbed and if you struggle it's you worsen okay the phenomenon okay and if uh, you don't do anything bah, 
you're gonna die also. So in both both options, um, you, what's the solution for that? You need help, a hand or a button, whatever, from someone else. Okay, so it's the metaphor of having some help from other people, specialists and or your family, your friends and so on. Those also through their testimonies and so on who experience that and can help you with their words, with their words, with the and if you see different people who already live that, it's definitely, uh, let's say, it's kind of uh, reconfort in a certain extent. So the second one point is um, is to first accept and to welcome your this this moment, this hardship first. Secondly, is to denervate. Denervate means to um, to 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 take it out and when you take it out your nerve is this to um, to denervate and sir to neutralize neutralize means that literally you are not you don't have any affect anymore bad energy good energy towards something so you are peaceful with that okay so that's the point so um, you know if I say many times but if I'm burned okay and someone just do a caress I'm gonna uh, it's gonna be hurt me. It's the same principle. Okay, so important also to consider to be grateful for this experience. It is difficult, but at least if you're convinced about the fact at the end you will solve the problem and it's just punctual and it will be a springboard to reach a higher consciousness, it's something you can, um, let's say, free up, you liberate from your previous. Um, self okay so it's exactly the same to project yourself okay when there is the, 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 the gray sky you think that there is a, the beautiful weather will come back or oh, when I was like yesterday uh, very hungry uh, I just thought a lot a lot of the good effect at the end when I will eat tonight and the fact that it is just still 24 hours to wait and i had 72 hours so i did 48 hours i was i did yesterday when i was a bit um, struggling with my myself i said to myself come on it would be vain to have done it just for 48 hours and stopping now so even that and then also the fact that i knew that there was an end okay um it was more uh, let's say uh i mean I was more, it was easier in that way. Um, accept the principle of duality, okay? The darkness can, I mean, the light cannot exist without darkness, okay? It's highlighting, it's um, emphasizing, okay? It's normal, it's, uh, everything is binary like this, huh? I say, I mean, it's even more than binary, but the duality is the basis of the existence, CF, okay, confer, so please um, watch the first video, video one, uh, explaining that, okay? So, and once again, this is what I say many times, for admiring the magnificence of a rainbow, you need to, uh, to admire the beauty of the rain and the sun. So, this is, of course, a metaphor, but this is the same principle. Then, uh, importance is the notion of trust, trust and or faith problem of faith is most of the time it's just built in okay you are born with it or not then um, if you, the more you, you you search and the more you find also so if you analyze biology um, um, astronomy and so on so far usually it's difficult not to believe anymore why because there is so many contingencies and the potentialities to to have our, uh, our life possible on earth is, and even you individually, the fact uh, to have uh, won the lucky draw with a uh, spermatozoa and so on, uh, ovule, uh, this is same for life in general. So the more you learn, uh, the more you study, and the more you open up your consciousness and thereby normally your faith. But anyway, even if there is no notion of faith, but just the trust, the trust of life, um, and the the fact is is 
if I have to summarize it like this, is not seeing to believe, but to but believing to see is on the other way around. It means I vibrate thinking that it's gonna be better, it's gonna be alright, it's a part of the game. Um, we co-contracted it, we co-created it. Huh? If it's happened, it's for good reason, it's not only you focusing on you and so on. A lot of people are living the same thing, or live the same thing, or will live the same thing. So this is important. Um, the notion of um, uh, the danger of um, wanting to perform. This is problem of our society. We always want to be strong and so on and so forth. Um, perform um, is the contrary because you surrender, you let it go. Why? Because it's the quest of being. Okay, I say again, of being, to be. Okay, I am, the true I am, not you as an ego, but the essence, the presence, which is beyond of you. Okay, but <clears throat> so it's a quest of being and not exclusively, um, let's say, um, appearing and not exclusively having. Okay, honing. Okay, this is the difference, the main difference. Then accept your moments of weaknesses. Okay, why? Because we are not a superman, a super, uh, superior, huh? we are not superman, superwoman. Okay, so if you want to cry, if you need to cry, if you don't want to see people and so on, explain them. Just, uh, I need to breath. I need to to do this this moment of introspection and so on. If people are aware about and they know the concept, is easier for them. And or just say, uh, I, I need a break. I need a break. Is not personal towards you. It's it's just I need something with myself. I need to to do introspection and so. On. Okay, so <clears throat> then it's also very important um, to be honest, to be honest compared to your previous you. Because some people, you know, they say, oh, I'm awakened, okay, with a date, uh, which, uh, what time it was uh, when you awaken, um, is uh, endless process, as I say many times, it's obvious, in a journey. But um, to be honest with that, for example, some people realize, thanks to that, that they thought having um, accumulated a lot of information and knowledge and so on, but they didn't put in practice. So it was a fake awakening. This is the um, spiritual ego, okay? The principle of comparing, showing off, saying, oh, I'm higher than other people because uh, they are goats, they are sheep, and me, I am uh, illuminated, for example. All this kind of thing. We hear a lot, a lot. Everywhere on the on the spirituality and the social media, especially, this is quite prevalent. So uh, to be honest with that, um, and also to avoid uh, once again the let's say the ready-made sentence like everything is perfect, everything is uh, correct, and so okay, uh, you have the right to say. F you understood? Okay, it's possible to say. Uh, okay, uh, let's forget about everything. It's better. It's a part of the game as well. Um, this is important to consider. This is a part of an initiation, I said. And actually, in our modern society, Western countries, most of them, there is no more. You know, in all traditions, there was a initiatory passage. Okay, from the teenager to adults. Okay, so, um, for example, uh, Kels, uh, they were sending the, the 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 teenager in the in the darkness uh, in the forest for which uh, they were they were believing that there was a lot of uh, you know entities ghosts and so on so but it was for them to embrace their fears and to neutralize them and so on it was the principle so far we are a little bit in a sanitized society for which we don't have this kind of uh, um uh, yeah, initiatory uh, passage. Okay, so um, there is a tempo, a pace um, in your life. So it's a part of it. Okay, so you cannot have anything. Today is the spring, so it's gonna blossom. Okay, you see some flowers. It's beautiful. Uh, maybe you cannot see. Okay, you see how it's beautiful. And for that, you need to respect there is winter. Okay, it's nature is taking a rest, is relaxing and so on. You cannot impose, you cannot shout on a tree and saying, hurry up and so on. So, same. 
take your time there is a pace literally for um for this okay it's not don't rush okay don't don't expect anything just accept and say okay it's at the end for a good reason for even if i don't understand now i will understand later and it will open up some doors later and i will be grateful for that oh i can be even grateful now because i know that in the future it'll be good results like my fasting i know that tonight it will bring me so much not only for the pleasure or test but huh, because it's uh, uh, it's uh, purifying my uh, immune system and so on referring to key 25 detox if you want some more information regarding that so concretely it's like myotics okay give it's trying to give birth to someone you can help you can be helped also uh, the thing is we cannot go to toilets for you okay so it means that it is a inner battle it's your game it's your own um, only you can do it but you can be helped anyway it you can be given some tools some techniques and so on some accompaniment for uh, supporting you this is also possible um this is the principle for maintaining the sovereignty on our kingdom uh, let's say the westlands okay but even if it's small stuff huh? you you know like the 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 the, the flood is coming and so on even if i only have a small island of one meter is already you are preserved so try to focus on that um this is also the notion of uh, resilience is um, you know uh, something interesting you know an oyster um no harms nothing so um there is a notion of resilience if um, but for example if you have uh, something uh, you know like a uh, dust in your in your eye you just uh, either you do that either you take it out with your finger um oyster cannot do anything okay so if just a small piece of sand enters in in it uh, in the shell actually you know what um, does the um, the oyster um she puts some um some substance okay around during a long time to neutralize okay and you know what's the result of it a pearl it's beautiful right but it's true is nature doing that so it's a kind of um thanks to a difficulty a hardship it creates an amazing thing okay so take it as a as a metaphor very important point as well is the parallel between the resonance i explained in key 17 resonance is a butterfly effect but the notion of small the, you know is causality okay cause consequences okay so small consequences impact the whole okay that's the point so what i try to this is important to see the vision uh, small scale large scale okay as above so below okay as below so above so it's to delay to erase the past memory of humanity we are in a period of time we are doing that that's why there are many movements of this uh, notion of uh, the the dark night of life of uh, of soul sorry because a lot of people are living that because humanity needs that as um, a single man you understand I understand like uh, um the the the, the, the the collective unthinking, the collective uh, unconsciousness. That's the point. Like uh, Akashic Record, whatever you you call it. But it's is that. So we are here also to transmute not only your personal um, memories, remembrance, and so on, but from the human gender. Okay, from the for the good, for the bad. Um, this is also the notion of the memory of death, of the of the soul of the world okay so it's also the resonance with the vibration of the planet Gaia whatever you mother uh, or the earth and so on but the darkness of mother earth due to pollution or whatever huh, what's happening now is also we can feel it and it has an impact we impact earth earth impact us individually collectively individually you are impacted by the egregore huh, of uh, the, the, the collective and the collective i mean you impact 
also the collective by your individual vibration that's the point so this is important too because we feel less lonely huh? when we think that uh, this is a normal passage this is not this is a difficulty and then you are stronger for example so there is a link and a common thread with all the stage of individual life and collective life as um, the different reincarnation and the archetypes and the egregores in general to uh, access to akashic um, recurring and also to purify uh, let's say this uh, emotions this even from the past and also you towards them okay so for you to be peaceful with them okay but there is a reciprocal um, dynamic um, this is the principle and that's why this is there are so many people uh, now in this period of time because we are apparently uh, uh, reaching flirting with the era of aquarius you know uh, transition the, the third d uh, uh, to uh, fourth and uh, fifth d but not only as a concept is more vibratory is more notion of frequencies then you know this notion of um, the dark night of life i say is not a new age and is not recent is not trendy and so on it's something the word appeared five centuries ago with de la croix a french uh, priest um, then you have it in hermetism in alchemy okay for more than a uh, centuries huh, of course uh, more than centuries even uh, millenniums of course um, so this is a principle of vitriol this is the notion of so that you can find in Egypt uh, former Egypt in Sufism and uh, in um, for sadhu you know Hinduist uh, mystic uh, in Buddhism and so on this is the the tomb ritual okay you're in a tomb in um, in a coffin for three days 72 hours darkness and so on and you the, the goal is to destroy the ego okay and to open up to the true i am that's the point so uh perseus is the is the principle and perseus the you know in um, in a greek mythology mythology uh decapitation you know uh same for uh saint george the ambassador of england in Russia as well, if my memory is correct. Um, Saint George and the Archangel, Archangel um, Michael. Michael. Okay, so uh, you know, uh, killing the, the 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 dragons. The dragons are our fears. Okay, so this is literally this. This is concretely on you know, the. Okay, so um, actually, the result of this is um, broadening of consciousness. Okay. Uh, and then a transcendence okay so this is to enlarge your perspective to clean up to enlarge your perspective as a springboard if i can afford as a conclusion is certain extent even if it's endless of course um this is important to face to cope with okay this hardships okay uh, to neutralize them otherwise they will come back um, sooner or later with another form, with another shape, through someone else, and so on. Okay, so as long as you didn't do the job, that to say, uh, which is a kind of maturity, you know, emotional, and so on, spiritual, and so on, um, it will come back. Okay, so this is keep in mind. This is a choice, a co-choice, a co-creation of your soul, a kind of contract you sign before um, embodying in the density. Okay, so it's a part of the game, it's a part of your game, <laughs> okay? Of course, you're not at the top of the game, uh, at the top of your game at this present moment, but think about it will be after. It is, we have a French expression saying, um, step uh, step back to uh, to jump further, or step backwards to jump further. So this is exactly that, concretely. Um, we are in a kind of... Uh, of grounded society okay of ground okay or above above ground we can say um we which is disconnected so we need a reconnection okay uh, a complete alignment with um, our body our mind and our soul but more than this this is only for for yourself okay and then the the, the reconnection with nature with people with invisible words that to say energies and so on if you believe in angels or uh, god or whatever but this is this 
to something higher, uh, transcendental. Then, um, a knowledge is seizing, is gathering, okay? The wisdom is surrender, is let it go, and this is exactly um, uh, two schools, two philosophy, West and East, okay? West is literally uh, the notion of uh, uh, conceptualization, is a notion of theory, is the notion of uh, um, um, yeah, materiality, and the second vision from uh, East, okay, uh, Asian philosophy, for example, is more um, thanks to surrendering, okay, and let it go. It's the practice, practice makes perfect, and the notion of feeling and let it go. But feeling thing, experiencing thing, experience thing. At the point. Um, the goal, once again, is to purify your senses, to reach your true essence. Okay, that's really important, the true I am. And last but not least is the notion of um, it allows you to relearn how to love yourself, not as a narcissistic, uh, and of course not, it's not that, it's just to appreciate the loan you receive. Okay, you, the loan, I insist, you receive and to honor it. Okay, and thereby, the more you like, you appreciate yourself. Okay, thanks to this hardship and so on, it's supposed to, um, for you to be more, um, let's say, uh, compact and also more trustable with, you know, it's like in a couple when they, 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 they face problems, disease, depression and so on, they are stronger. They are definitely stronger. It's the same for yourself. So it's a kind of quest of that to love more yourself, and thereby you more uh, you love more people in general. And this is basic. Think of the more you love people, the more people li like you, and vice versa. And it is reciprocal effect. Uh, effect, sorry, an effect as well. <laughs> it's um, is the principle of golden rule, which exists everywhere in all spirituality and religion, Judaism, in Islam, in Christianism, in uh, uh, Jainism, in uh, Hinduism, in Zoroastrism, and so on, uh, Taoism, uh, uh, and so on and so forth, okay? Confucianism as well. Anyway, just, um, what is it? This is simple, is um, behave with other people, your neighbor, as you would like the neighbor, uh, I mean, love people as you love yourself, okay? If you don't like yourself, well, of course, uh, you will <laughs> hate everybody. But that's the point, actually, because this is really the basis, the basis of um, the domino effect, the butterfly effect. And that's why the inner journey is can be only in words. And But that's why I'm always saying the awakening, so it's an eternal, endless process, okay? But in parallel of that, it is individual process for which there is a collective um, impact and consequences. So this is the resonance um, effect. The more you awaken, the more I do, and the more I do, the more he does, and so on, like this. So as a humanity, this, uh, this passage of uh, the darkness, I mean the, the dark night of uh, soul, is a springboard, is a not a prerequisite, because I say you can uh, live normally and uh, being in a process of awakening uh, without, huh, of course, but if so, it's just for good and for as a springboard to reach higher um, dimension, higher consciousness, higher quality of, of life in general, of love and so on and so forth. Well, it's part of the game, and this is also uh, the action of the principle of, uh, you know, um, the 3D, 4D, and 5D. Okay, this is one thing I will, the transition, basically, the new era, the new paradigm, as we say, I will talk about that, I will do a special key for that uh, in a few weeks, uh, soon, soon. Um, all right, I hope it's helped you. Don't hesitate if you want some uh, to comment and to bring your own testimonies. It's always, always enriching for everybody, okay? It's not supposed to be the truth. It's just my perception for gathering different things and also my own experience because, yes, I lived several ones and it's not pleasant. That's a matter of fact. I cannot, uh, I cannot say the contrary. Well, 
I hope uh, it will bring to you that um, it will help you to shape your master key to open up the door of what you want, huh? consciousness, love, and so on, of your heart. As you know, all the roads lead to Rome and to home and to the door. Thank you for your attention and see you very soon.